Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Tez Bryant. <laughs> yes, all sir. day, y'all. All day. <laughs> crazy, dude. Hey, y'all. Donnie Jones here with Stand Together. Check out this extended conversation with music mogul Tez Bryant, where he talks about his mother keeping it real, the friend he met on the first day of band camp, and the person who taught him the principles of life. What's amazing about Believe in People, the series, is that we want to be able to celebrate those that have been inspirations in your life. My mama didn't play, man. Don't talk about the switch. <laughs> Don't talk about the switch. <laughs> she didn't play. <laughs> she had me when she was 16, so we kind of grew up together. And she always kept it real with me. I found out she was making $18,000 a year, bro. Mm. I told my mom, you've supported me enough to help me get to this point where I've earned this marching band scholarship. I got out of the city. I got out of the hood. Yeah, I'm gonna go figure it out. And that's been my goal, man. And the first time I was able to and stable enough to retire her, I retired her like years ago. I was able to come back around and now be able to say, you're really good now. You, you made that transition. You read that W-2, you put that number down, and now you're all of a sudden at Jackson State. Going through the process of, of being a freshman in the HBCU man was definitely tough, you mm -hmm. know? So that wasn't no joke. That's not no joke. Like if you watch Drumline, it's probably time 15 of what you saw on the movie. So you got your, your mom. Was there anybody else at, at Jackson State? Dr. Lewis Liddell, uh, the band director at, at Jackson State University. He is the father. He's the father of that family. That's Sonic Boom in the South. That's the name of my band. Mm. That family, he's, he's the head. He's the head of the family. He's the one who uh, believed in me, gave me a scholarship. You know, my best friend right now, I met first day of band camp. And we're still best friends to this day. First day in the hallway, he come up to me like, where you from, bro? You from you from Jamaica or something? Cause I had a heavy New Orleans accent. <laughs> and I just took those things I learned in that marching band, those principles of discipline, leadership, being a great listener. As a manager, I had to form relationships, you know? Mm -hmm. It worked for me in my first years in the business to grow Wayne's brand and become a superstar like he was. And this is all started from the concept of mixtape came right in those conversations in that dorm room with my best friend Jerome. Wow. This is the dot connector of all this success that's what we got. I didn't know anything about the music business. All I knew was mixtapes work. And I appreciate all the tokens that they instilled into me mm -hmm. from my mother to my best friend, you know, who may not know the rock that he's been as a friend throughout this entire journey. And even to Dr. Liddell to step in and really be, you know, instilling me so many valuable principles of life. What's been amazing about it, your journey, is that, you know, that business that, you, that you're in is the business of teaching people. Right? It's in my spirit, it's on my heart. That's why I'm going back to teach at college. I'm trying to pour that into my son and hopefully, you know, uh, <laughs> take him on a path where I don't have to bump his head the, the places I bump my head, right? And I think that's what life is about. You figure out your path, you figure out your purpose, you work hard at it, you do it, mm. you pay it for it, because it, it's gonna continue. And as much as you give, I feel like you receive. I'm a witness of that. I'm a firm believer in that, and I think that will be me for the rest of my life. At Stand Together, we know that a deep belief in people has the power to change the world by unleashing every person's unique gifts. Check out the rest of Believe in People series at standtogether.org slash believe in people.